So there was more drama on the India-Pakistan Jammu and Kashmir thing today. Uh, in the morning, all Buddhist leaders, just two days before the NSA level talks between India and Pakistan, they were suddenly put under house arrest and uh, then released within hours. Uh, and, and no one seemed to know why this was happening or what this was going to lead up to. Uh, to discuss uh, what's happened today and how this is going to impact the talks which are scheduled over the weekend, we have uh, Praveen Swami, National Editor of Strategic Affairs of the Indian Express. Uh, so Praveen, um, bizarre developments through the day, what do you make of this? No, absolutely bizarre, it's uh, straight out of a bad comedy scene in some you know, Hindi film. Um, we, we have three theories about what happened so far and not a lot of evidence for any of them. But one is that the government ordered the arrest of the Hurriyat leadership and that their coalition partners, uh, 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 the People's Democratic Party in Jammu and Kashmir, who are kind of pro-Hurriyat, uh, got upset about this and insisted on these guys being released. Uh, theory number two is that Delhi just wanted to send a little signal to Pakistan and to the Hurriyat saying, you know, don't go too far or we'll, we'll, we'll step up the heat on you. And uh, theory number three, which, which may well turn out to be closest to the truth, is that it was just a goof up, there were some crossed wires, uh, this was a sort of contingency plan and then somebody realized later on that, oh, this isn't what we were doing, uh, we're going to look a bit silly if we do this and backed off. Uh, as I said, though, there, there isn't a lot of evidence for any of these three theories. Uh, so take your pick. This sounds truly bizarre, Praveen. Uh, okay, so, so, but this is really bad optics, like two days before the NSA talks. Uh, what, I mean, these, you see the, the Prime Ministers meet in Ufa and then all of a sudden when no one was expecting it really, NSA level talks are announced and then there's some back and forth that's happening. And uh, two days before that, this spectacle of, of the Hurriyat being put under house arrest. So, 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 is it going to impact the talks in any way or, or, or how well, does this... Uh, uh, I'll answer that in two bits, if I may. And the first part of that story is that, as you know, in September, uh, in, in August, excuse me, the government had called off foreign secretary level talks mm -hmm. uh, because Pakistan consulted with the Hurriyat ahead of the talks. Right. Right. Now, till last night, uh, Bharatiya Janata Party spokespersons were very visible on TV, explaining that, look, this situation's different. The Hurriyat's coming for a dinner reception at which other people will be present mm -hmm. uh, that will happen after the talks. Uh, but, but it looks like the government felt under pressure from this chorus of outrage on you know, 24 hour news TV and, and maybe wanted to show that, uh, give, give a little demonstration of toughness. Uh, if I was a Pakistani diplomat at this point, I'd be having a wry little chuckle about this. And uh, th th you know, this, this is why. I mean, since uh, last year, India has laid down a number of these red lines, sort of cross this line and we will bop you on the head red lines, each of which it's backed down on. So you had uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the United Nations say, talks and terror can't go together, words to that effect. You had Sushma Swara just before Ufa, a few days before that say, you know, till uh, you act against Zaki Ur Rahman Lakhvi, the lashkar e taiba terrorist, we're not going to talk to you. And each time India sort of backed down, and this is one more of those red lines and, you know, lines in the sand or whatever. Uh, if I was a Pakistani diplomat, I would probably drawing, uh, be drawing the conclusions that, look, a lot of this hard talk India came out with was domestic posturing for election purposes and that this government is trying to wriggle out of it. Now, that might not be the right, connect, uh, right uh, conclusion to draw, but that's probably the one that they are drawing. And in that sense, yes, it will, it will change their calculations. So, so uh, uh, you did this report in the Express this morning about the dossier that India has prepared about a whole lot of things about some of the terror camps which have kind of reopened after, uh, you know, when they were shut down after 26-11. So is the discussion going to proceed along the lines that they were planned or will there be some adjustments now from both sides? Um, well, w what's likely going to happen is that India will present its dossier and Pakistan will present its dossier. But what's really important is what happens behind that. Uh, and that context is everything. So uh, the reason these talks are happening is that the entire international community is worried that terrorism, that there will be a big terrorist act and that through missteps or miscalculations, India could end up in a war as they almost did in 2001, 2002, as we conceivably could have after 2611 with you know, even Manmohan Singh coming very close to it. Uh, that decision at that point. And of course, with two nuclear armed states, the stakes are huge, uh, you know, irrespective of whether there's a nuclear war or not. 
and nobody would want that. India doesn't want that, Pakistan doesn't want that because of the massive economic impacts. And what Ajit Doval is trying to be, uh, India's NSA is going to try to be impressing on the Pakistanis is that, look, you're tolerating this kind of low-grade terrorism because it's giving you some yields. So you're being, uh, you're making nice with pro-India jihadis uh, because you want to use them against the anti-Pakistan jihadis who are threatening to overrun the country right now. But when you allow this to happen, it can have all kinds of costs and consequences because you might put us in a corner from where we have to hit back, even if we think it's... Uh, you know, it's it's not the best option. Uh, the Pakistanis will listen to his message and they're going to make some calculations based on how serious they think our threats actually are. Uh, sadly, with this sort of low farce now surrounding things, uh, they're probably not going to be drawing uh, conclusions we'd like them to be drawing. Um, the big takeaway, uh, you know, we've been turning a diplomacy and serious business into something that's very shaped by public relations optics and by a TV debate. It's probably time for the government to switch off its TV and uh, bring some dignity and quiet back to this process. So some good advice for the government there. Big talks coming up, Sataj Aziz and Ajit Doval in Delhi. We'll see how that goes. Thank you. Prabhu. Thank you.